Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for the moment that you have all been waiting for. It is time for, in fact, for Crusader Kings 2. The, 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 the project we've been working on diligently for the last three years or so, and it's, it's well, not so much three years in, in, in general, but in three years from a public point of view, because that's when it kind of came out. Gentlemen, how are we doing today? Very good. You were very good. Who are you? Oh, yeah. And exactly, <laughs> what, are, what are we doing? I was like, oh yeah, I am on camera. That's <laughs> on right. Camera, yeah. Who are we? Who are uh, you guys? And what are we doing here today with uh, Crusader Kings 2? Right. So I'm the lead designer of Crusader Kings 2. Um, I'm kind of the the originator of the game. Although I'm not the project lead anymore, I've handed that over to Johan Lerström, who would have been here, but he he's come down with some kind of stomach bug. And this is Tobias Bodlund, the uh, lead scripter on uh, Crusader Kings 2 at the moment. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Such a shy and, and gentle man. He is, he, is, uh, he is a bit of a shy and gentle man. Yeah. I'm quickly going to see whether or not there's any issues here on the, uh, on the hardware, because somebody is actually mentioning that there is a little bit of an echo. I'm quickly going to quickly see whether or not I can resolve that one for one quick moment. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Right, so we are here. In Crusader Kings 2, there is Way of Life. What is Way of Life? Way of Life is basically a small expansion um, that is intended to make your character be more directed by you, essentially. So you can choose what kind of events happen to you while you're playing, um, and you can choose how your character develops in a way you know, that you couldn't before. Previously, events would happen that were kind of targeted uh, or, or triggered by your traits and your personality and out of your control. So basically what Way of Life is, it's, it's, it gives the player a way to shape his character more directly. Okay, so uh, originally in the, in, the, in the game design, uh, we originally started out with uh, we originally started out with Crusader Kings 2 being literally the Crusaders and then we grew in towards the Muslim world with sort of Islam and eventually we grew out in towards the old gods and that sort of thing um, that is the widening of the game are we mm -hmm. going to see more of that uh, from this moment onwards um, there is not much left to unlock as a, when it comes to playable nations and such. Uh, so I don't think we're going to see much more of that. What we're going to do instead is deepen the gameplay and cover areas that are a bit lacking, perhaps, or that would be interesting to, to uh, expand on. So it's more like expanding features than, than actually expanding the map or anything like that. I think we're, we're pretty much done with that. Okay, cool. Um, so when it comes to when it comes to that sort of thing, and how does how does Way of Life actually tie into this all? Um, <laughs> well, way, way of Life ties into this in the way that we've been going a little bit in this direction. You know, you, people might remember that when we added the improved skill ambitions to the game, uh, you could choose to improve your learning or your scholarship and so on as an ambition. And that's pretty much what we built on with this little expansion, where, you know, if you want to live a life uh, as a schemer, you can do that, and you will get this kind of these scheming events, and you can spy on people and so on. So it's all about shaping your character and choosing what kind of person he should be. Uh, and even if he's a bungler, you know, if you have low intrigue, um, you can still choose to try uh, and, and be a schemer <laughs> for, you know, Perhaps it can be amusing, at least. Yeah, like the first season of Black Adder. Pretty much. Generally being <laughs> being terrible at what you do, but still yeah. having the ambition of doing so. Yeah, okay. so what's going to happen is it's, it's probably going to be good uh, for you to <coughs> choose this. You know, the negative outcomes are pretty rare, uh, even if you're a bungler to begin with. But, you know, you can also have some amusing outcomes. Okay. Um, so, let's... No, for no further ado, let's look at Way of Life. What we have, um, the Way of Life, it's, it's, it's a relatively small expansion. I would, if you were to compare it from a size point of view to any of the other expansions that we've done so far, what, what would be, you know, it has, uh, it has a single game-changing mechanic. Yeah, no, it's, it's just one thing we're doing here. Um, the patch is full of stuff, mostly for modders as well, but the DLC itself is one of the smaller ones we've done. 
it's somewhere in between, I would say, uh, Legacy of Rome and Sunset Invasion. So some kind of middle, middle route. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, let's take a look. Um, so basically, here you have an alert saying uh, you should pick a focus for your character. And yes, that's a pretty good idea. So if we take a look here at my character, um, the astute viewer might see that this interface has changed a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit more detailed. And here there's a new button that says click to choose a new, new focus. So we do that. And then we're presented with this view where I can pick one of ten uh, focuses for my character. Um, and these are grouped into five groups, each corresponding to one of the base attributes of the character. So these are the intrigue uh, focuses that improve your intrigue and have with intrigue or are related to intrigue. And this is rulership and business, which are uh, tied to stewardship uh, and so on. So basically, I, I'll pick the uh, intrigue focus, I think. So there we are. And then it shows up here that I'm trying to improve my intrigue and uh, I've also got access to two, two new character actions, Spy On and Free From Captivity, which is pretty nice. Uh, and that brings me to one of the other new features here. If I click on one of these characters, uh, let's see, which one should I choose? This guy, I think. I have access to the new Spy On action. And I can do this because I've chosen the Intrigue focus, so it's, it's kind of a direct action that I can take. Um, but apart from that, there will also be various Intrigue-related events that happen to my character. And we've gone through a lot of the old events and tried to re-weight them and make sure that they happen during the appropriate, or if you've taken the appropriate focus, at least more often. For example, all the hunting-related events are blocked out or more rare if you've um, not picked the hunting focus. Mm. Uh, somebody in the chat immediately asks, if I have a lunatic character, can I improve my friendship with the devil in this particular case? Um. <laughs> you know, this, these are the important questions right, that our right. community immediately well, asks. Well, I've made lunacy a little bit more common <laughs> among the characters. Maybe <laughs> that will make you happy. You know, you will see more lunatic and possessed characters because, you know, of course, we, we try to throw a few uh, Easter eggs in there among these events. So there, there are events in, in this expansion that are unique to lunatic characters yeah. and so on. We try to always add, uh, you know, interesting lunatic options for events as well. There yeah. might be many events that are quite common that you have seen, but you haven't seen the entire event because you've never gotten it as a lunatic. Exactly. And, uh, we try to add stuff like that for the players to explore. Yeah, it's like the yeah. crazy runestone you can raise as a pagan. And in that yeah. vein, we've, you know, added a few interesting options for lunatics. Mm -hmm. So we have we have our ten focuses here. Um, which exactly are there involved? Because it, there's two focuses for every attribute, correct? Yes. Uh, the ten focuses are business, uh, which has to do with your city vassals, your mayors and so on, and making money. There is rulership, which is uh, basically the default uh, focus, which is being a good feudal lord mediating in disputes between vassals and improving relations with your normal feudal vassals. There's Intrigue, which I picked here, um, which is general skullduggery and stuff. Uh, you get access to these new actions, Spy On, which can lead to interesting blackmailing options, slander, and also uh, making people join your factions or staying out of your factions. Uh, then there's Free from captivity, which also exists in the, or it's an action that you get access to in the intrigue focus, which is basically freeing one of your vassals or courtiers or a close relation to you that's been taken captive by evil pagans and made into concubine or something like that. There's seduction, which gives you all kinds of interesting options when it comes to rivalries and uh, unwanted pregnancies and stuff like that. Uh, it also it tends to improve your intrigue base attribute. There is hunting, uh, which we're all pretty familiar with. Uh, hunting events, you can talk a little bit about that. <laughs> you wrote this. Yeah, we have some, uh, I mean, we have some special events for hunting, which uh, is kind of, 
kind of a epic event chain there, for example, and um, you can also actually have a, a hunting dog, your own dog, and you can get some events for that. And it's kind of it's not a huge thing, but I think uh, you know if you like the idea of your character owning a dog, you can have that. So if you can clarify that a little bit, that is not like a pet; <laughs> that's a, a character modifier. It's right? a character yeah, modifier. Yeah, yeah. It's a little yeah. green heart because you love your dog yeah. so much and you get events and uh, stuff and you can you know there's love there's true man to pet love yeah you know, yeah so, uh, um we might have some odd options there as well if you're possessed or <laughs> there might there, be there might just be some <laughs> few odd options <laughs> then there's the war focus um which means basically that your character tries to improve his martial abilities maybe gain a, a nice commander trait it also gives access to uh, a duel action, so you can challenge other characters to a duel under certain conditions in much the same way that you can seduce characters with the seduction focus. We have carousing, that's another one of yours. Yeah, uh, well if you have the carousing focus, it basically allows you to also take an action against another character uh, where you can, well not against really, you can invite them to, to your castle and, and have a bout of carousing. Which is not like the big feasts because they're official functions. Here's basically you invite some friends over for you know drinking. It's great <laughs> for making friends, right? And improving yeah, it's great for making friends, and uh, and uh, you can like choose to invite uh, some of your vassals that you that you want to befriend. You can invite them for a s small private party, basically. Right. We should mention that you can only change your focus every five years as well. So you, you kind of you have to stick with your choice, but not for too long. Uh, but at least you get to see yeah. uh, what it's all about and then you can change your mind. Yeah, you're kind of committing to, you know, this is what my character is interested in doing now. It's it's, it's yeah. not choosing a character class like that because you can change it, but... Uh, we should probably also mention that the, the lifestyle traits, if you <coughs> remember them, you know, like Hunter and Gardener and so on, have been worked into this system so that basically uh, when you take a focus, you kind of level up your skills within that uh, particular area, so you can become a master seducer, for example, which is a new lifestyle trait. But you can also become, um, uh, what is it, socializer or something for the carousing focus, which yeah. is the end lifestyle. Mm. Hedonist is tied to carousing as well. Uh, we have a few new lifestyle traits. Yeah. And, and various new yeah. character modifiers as well. Considering uh, considering you wrote these events, I'm I'm guessing you're delving into your own life's life's history and personal experiencing when it comes to the carousing, or uh... yeah, all the dark stuff is coming out now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the events are based on my personal experience. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> that's not quite how it is. It's probably more borrowed from favorite movies and stuff like that. Um, who knows where creativity comes from, right? Then there's the family focus. Um, which is intended to um, increase the relations between your family members before you basically pass away so that you can ensure that your your sons and your brothers and so on will like each other the day you're gone which is quite useful especially if you have an extended family and uh, this way you can kind of build a solid foundation for your successor then we have the theology focus which is in the learning attribute yeah. Um, well, the theology the focus. Um, well, it means your character is spending time pondering relig religious issues, and so you get a bunch of events for that. We have uh, uh, a lot of new events, which are kind of uh, some generic and some more specific for pagans. Uh, people have been asking for more events for pagan religions, and uh, I'm not saying we're doing lots for them, but you know, there's some more new stuff there. And uh, now with the DLC, you'll also have to choose the theology focus if you want to go on a pilgrimage because you know you want to show that you're more dedicated to religion. You're a pious character. Yeah, or want to be at least. In in this particular case, Sigurd uh, Ring was probably not the most pious character in history. No, so, I, um, yeah. I don't think so either. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> he was more of an empire builder. Exactly. Oh, yeah. For example, if you'd want to increase your chance of becoming a heretic or, or, or zealous or whatever, you know, whatever has to do with the religion, you don't want to choose this focus. Cool. Yeah. Becoming a heretic though, isn't that the other one we have here? The scholarship, scholarship. focus. 
Well, not quite uh, heresy. It's 